Hi, Rahid. How are you? Very well, Tom. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm really good. Uh, Tom, uh, you know, it's a very complicated role to do. Um, firstly, you know, P you've made firstly such an impact with Spider-Man and Peter Parker. How did you make sure that this completely separates them and people don't think that this is Peter Parker doing these things? <laughs> um, it, it's funny you ask, actually. It was quite a tricky, tricky task because um, the opening of the film, we really wanted to kind of create this character that people could fall in love with and people could get behind. And when I start playing a sort of happy-go-lucky teenager, it very, very quickly becomes Peter Parker. So it was difficult to try and find the similarities between the two of them while maintaining the differences. Um, I think a lot of the differences were driven in the motivation of what he wanted in life, where he was going, the choices he was making. Um, but you're right, it was it was quite tricky to try and play a Peter Parker type character with very, very different um, ambitions. Right. You know, this shows what war can do. This shows what addiction can do. Um, this also is a very nice love story. Um, you know, do these roles play on your mind when you go back home or are you someone who can switch off? I'm definitely someone who can switch off. I think it's important to leave work at work, especially when you're emotionally exhausting yourself and physically pushing yourself you know to the limit really um there were days that i would take it home with me and it would stop me sleeping and, and i would wake up very stressed or upset um but because of the atmosphere that the russo brothers create on set it's a very warm welcoming place uh i was able to leave the work um on set and, and it didn't affect my personal life as much as i thought it would that's lovely. That's great. Uh, you know, did this give you an understanding what war is like, what um, what life could be for all those who go to Iraq and, you know, uh, similar places to fight the war? I don't think um, anything could give you an understanding of what it's like unless you were there. Um, you know, you could right. say that I have more of an understanding, um, but... You know, what those brave men and women go through to serve their country is astonishing. And right. the lack of help they get when they get home is even more astonishing, um, unfortunately. So I hope that this film will really, really start to show people the problem. Um, you know, I think he says in his book that they train civilians to be killers, but they don't train the killers to be civilians again. So when they come home and try and readjust to normal life, it's just so difficult. Um, and then, you know, they're chastised for falling into addiction and and it's not really their fault right uh did you did you at some point uh, want to read the book did you want to talk to the author did you do any of those things i wanted to and and i really enjoyed his book um i was supposed to speak with him about a month ago but because of scheduling stuff it just didn't happen so i'm hoping to speak to him soon um the book is a big departure from what actually happened in his life and our film is quite a big departure from the book so i didn't feel like it was imperative that i spoke to him before we started shooting uh because it gave me the creative freedom to to create a character rather than trying to recreate an existing person um so hopefully i'll speak to him in the next few weeks Great, fantastic. Looking forward to that. And do you, do you, do you think this is a film that, uh, you know, we are still, the world is going through lockdown in different places. So luckily, this is also releasing online. Do you think that's a good thing? Yeah, I mean, the, you, it's interesting. I've been talking about it for a long time with some of the people on set here. The industry is changing. Streaming services are, you know, really, really becoming a prominent way to to get films out there and get a lot of eyeballs on them. What it means for the cinema, I don't know. I don't get paid to figure out how the industry is going to work. Uh, but uh, I hope the cinema continues to thrive after this pandemic because I miss it. Um, I know lots of people miss it and it's why we're here. It's what we do. We, we love cinema and, and it wouldn't be the same without it. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, like I said when at the start, you completely own this role. Can't wait for the world to watch this. Good luck to you for this. Thank you, Rahid. Lovely to speak to you. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.